good morning, ma'am. <laughs> this is Sunday. Our topic is human stress reduction. Stress is a common problem that can cause physical and mental health issues such as anxiety, depression, and the uh, uh, cardiac issues. It can caused by various factors such as work difficulties, financial problems, uh, material issues, and health problems. Due to this, uh, people get, uh, won't get proper sleep. Uh, here, our objective is uh, to find the stress levels of the human while sleeping. Uh, this includes uh, data sets as uh, a variable uh, device like a sleeping pillow. It shows the stress level of the human and suggests some uh, suggestion to human. Scope of our project is to identify and, and uh, selecting appropriate physically and the behavioral signals associated with stress, collecting and pre-processing data set of uh, stress-related signals from various sources such as wearable devices or sensors, creating and training machine learning model with various algorithms and techniques such as supervised and supervised learnings, using several performance matrices like accuracy, precision, recall, measure of model performances. Uh, First, we have collected data and we pre-processed it and uh, did basic exploration on the uh, data set. And uh, we did uh, feature extraction and uh, machine learning models. And then uh, we built a new AI model and we developed a new artificial neural network. Normal, in general, uh, eye, eye movement of adult and child is between 50 to 60 percent, and body oxygen levels is between 95 to 100 percent. And uh, number of hours sleeping is for children 9 to 11, and for adult uh, 8 to 9. And uh, respiration rate from uh, 12 to 20 breaths per minute, and 15 to 25 breaths for adult. Health, health, heart rate 60 to 95 bpm for children and 60 to 100 bpm for adults uh, similarly body temperature uh, the data collection general data collection can be done using uh, smart yoga pillow wearable devices and mobile apps sleep sleep trackers and uh, aura rings here our, our data is collected from uh, sleeping data set it contains snoring rate respiration rate body temperature lip movement ox body oxygen level eye movement, sleeping rate, heart rate, and stress level. Here, stress level is categorized into five types, low and normal, one denotes medium low, two denotes medium, three denotes medium high, and four denotes high. Uh, this is the methodology we have uh, followed. First, we collected the data, and uh, then pre-processed it, and developed a machine learning model, and uh, model training and validation and stress reduction. These are the algorithms what we have trained and tested logistic regression navy bias light gpm catapult and uh, svm got 100 percent accuracy uh xc XG, boost classifier random forest and gradient boost regressors got 98 percent and test entry got 98 percent this is the ua what we have developed manually we can enter the uh, snoring rate respiration rate all parameter values here and uh, once clicking on the predict but predict we can get uh, how in which level of uh, stress he he has uh, for a uh, prediction logistic regression will be uh, useful any regressor algorithms will be very useful for predicting uh, it gives a, a suggestion for the user and a, a joke for relaxation now let's see the implementation part of but the problem faced in many uh, people don't know that they have stressed or not. There are many factors that determines whether a person has stress or not based on these uh, problems. This study compared the KN and Navy bias and the uh, more animal uh, models. Uh, physically, uh, data during sleep uh, uh, obtained from sleep uh, yoga pillow. Uh, to detect person stress levels, we have uh, imported all the packages needed. Uh, this is the data set. Uh, as previously discussed, we have all parameters uh, here. This is the data set description, and uh, we check it for the column types. And uh, we have 630 rows with uh, nine columns. No missing values is there. Uh, we did exploration on the columns. Uh, this is a, a, a line chart for a snoring rate and uh, stress level.
essentially the stress level is zero uh, snoring rate is zero stress level is uh, zero so while increasing the snoring rate stress level is increasing uh, similar with respiration rate and uh, while body temperature is high stress level uh, will be high this is also a plot for body oxygen level versus stress stress level Here they compare the heart rate versus stress level. Initially, the heart rate is between 50 to 55. The stress level is zero. While it increases to 60, the stress level uh, comes near to one. Uh, while it increases to 65, the stress level uh, came to uh, two. As uh, previously uh, discussed, uh, they classified stress levels to uh, five, zero, one, two, three, four. Uh, so uh, based on increasing uh, heart rate, it uh, Ch the change in uh, stress level is uh, shown in the plot. This is the histogram plot of uh, pins for each column. Uh, checking the distribution of data of each column, it can be stated the distribution of data that features snoring rate, respiration rate, eye movement, and sleeping rate, and the heart rate on the stress level. The uh, distribution of data from temperature, lip movement, and uh, body oxygen level have uh, normal distributions. We can see here. We have plotted a heat map. Uh, here we can see for uh, stress level and uh, respiration rate, we have a high, high correlation when compared with respiration rate and temperature and all. Oh, uh, we had uh, no missing values, but we have checked for outlay outliers whether any outlier is uh, found or not. No outliers is found. Only the data distribution uh, we can see in this plot. We have split the data for uh, training and testing. We have taken all uh, columns except stress level as X and the stress level column class column as Y. We're using a uh, Train test split, we split the data to 80% 80, 20, 80 training and 20% testing. We have developed uh, KNN, Navi BIOS, and uh, decision entry models, and we have we got accuracy 100% for KNN, 100% for Navi BIOS, 98% for decision tree. The hyperparameters such as KNN, uh, Entry in a KNN testing for the hyperparameters value K5, 10, 15 pro produced the same accuracy values. Therefore, uh, the chosen value of K is Y. In DT, the hyperparameter test is uh, max depth values 20, 40, 60 produce the same accuracy value. Therefore, the max depth value chosen be 40. Now, the model is uh, evaluating. Here we can uh, see the confusion matrix of uh, models uh, which has a uh, precision recall and F1 scores. Uh, this is the average uh, accuracies of the model. For all the models so that uh, have been made, it is very good because uh, it gets high accuracy. And KNN and Navibas model got accuracy of 100%, uh, while a uh, decision tree model uh, got accuracy of 98%. To improve the model that has made, when searching for hyperparameters of the range, multiply it again, go again so that you can get optimal hyperparameters. Okay, the future scaling is done. The data we have are not on same scale, so bringing them to same scale, uh, we used a min max scalar for uh, transferring the data. Here we have plotted our uh, a pie chart for uh, our uh, stress levels. 20% uh, low on normal pe people having stress, 20% uh, of data minimum low, 20% uh, minimum and uh, high 20% equally uh, it has spread. We, can, we have uh, again uh, plotted a correlation plot where we got uh, similar scores as uh, seen before. We plotted a accuracy plot for uh, logistic regression XC uh, logistic regression navy bias we got 100 percent and remaining uh, we got 98 percent. We have we have used a 
some more algorithms like a uh, light like gpm and data boost uh, were previously seen models were uh, level based and the uh, light like gpm and data boost were leaf based algorithms we got for light like gpm 100% and data boost 100% accuracy scores and we have developed a gradient boost regressor which, uh, which gives accuracy as 99.6% and um, we used a uh, svm which given 100% uh, accuracy and we have plotted all the uh, algorithms and we have developed a knn model knn model artificial neural network using keras we have split the data for uh, training and testing and uh, we have given 100 epochs with optimizer adam and uh, uh, last score is uh, msc we got accuracy 73 percent we can increase the accuracy by increasing the uh, adding layers to the model uh, this is the final uh, plot of uh, testing on the uh, validation loss where it is uh, not either not overfitted or underfitted it's uh, appropriate and uh, correct the artificial neural network or ann are a subset of machine learning models that take their uh, cues for a uh, design and operation of biological neural networks seen in the human brain the input layer one or more hidden layers and the output layer are three uh, layers that made up an artificial neural network each neural each neuron takes the information from the neurons in the layer below the below and then transform it to create our output then it's sent to neurons in the layer above an and above been used successfully in the variety of applications including pictures audio record recognition natural language processing and the predictive models if um, in fields such as finance healthcare and marketing the accuracy of an is uh, 73 percent we have developed a new ai model let's see the execution part of it we have developed a new ai model let's see the execution part of the ui model. as previously discussed we can enter uh, all uh, parameter values manually The person having 91 uh, 91 uh, percent snoring rate and 25 percent respiration rate 95 percent body temperature and uh, 15 uh, lip movement and uh, 94 uh, uh, blood oxygen level and uh, 95 eye movement and sleeping rate as six hours and heart rate 72 uh, that person got uh, st uh, det stress detected as a third level of the stress which is medium or high stress uh, we have uh, given a suggestion uh, to take a breath and go for a short walk outside and uh, practice a deep breathing or a meditation for a few moments. Uh, listen to clam music or uh, sounds. We don't know the uh, user preference, so you can uh, take any one of uh, any one out of it. Let's see the report of the project. These are the table contents uh, which we had done in our report: uh, abstract introduction and literature review methodology and architecture and the results and discussion and final conclusion in uh, today's fact um, many people ignore the uh, benefits of sleep bringing human body the uh, smart yoga pillow is the proposed solution to enhance people knowledge on the sleep and the stress levels stress is very uh, intensely emotional state that is defined as a reaction of body or to any request upon it because to the negative effects of a long half pressure which can range if from uh, headaches and uh, sleep disturbances to increase the risk of cardiac diseases this is a uh, poison requests are major source of uh, pressure on people pressure can be caused by a situation like ongoing vulnerability to danger uh, tight deadlines uh, and uh, simple dull strokes we have uh, done background study on uh, stress level reduction on uh, sleeping and uh, non-sleeping data sets uh, where they have used and uh, they have uh, 
10 machine learning models. We have uh, referred 10 papers, and uh, this is our uh, data set description as previously discussed. This is the architecture of our model. We have collected data and we've deprocessed it and a feature extraction has done. And we have developed a machine learning models like logistic regression, NaviBios, XC Boost, and random forest decision tree, light GBM, Keta Boost, SVM, gradient boost regressor. Out of that, a logistic regression is used for uh, developing a user interface. And we have developed a deep learning model and we got an accuracy. We can increase the accuracy of the deep learning model by adding the layers. This is the a description of all algorithms with accuracies. Is the user interface what we have developed here? We have we have compared the sleeping data sets versus non sleeping data sets. Uh, this is the sleeping data set algorithms what they have used and they what uh, best accuracy what they have done. They they got SVM and the uh, Navi bias is hundred percent accuracy. And uh, in non sleeping data set they use random forest Navi bias SVM and KNN and they got uh, eighty five percent of accuracy has highest for uh, SVM. In table two. Uh, uh, let's say about only a uh, sleeping data set uh, papers, but they have used SVM, KNN, addition to Navi bias and uh, uh, SVM. Uh, for Navi bias and SVM, they got 100% uh, accuracy. In non-sleeping non data set, random forest Navi bias, SVM, KNN has done. Uh, the highest accuracy is for SVM uh, with uh, 85%. This is the models what we have done and we got accuracies. Uh, we got 100% uh, accuracy for logistic regression like GPM, Navi BIOS, and Keta Boost and SVMs. Uh, remaining, we got 98 and 99 persons. This, this is, uh, we have discussed uh, the table of contents in detail. Compared to deep learning algorithm, ANN machine learning algorithm like SVM, logistic regression, Keta Boost, and AI Bias got 100% scores. For ANN algorithm, we have took less batch layers, so we can get we got less accuracy. If we take more batch layers uh, to ANN, we will get highest accuracy like ML models. Advantage of uh, ML over deep learning model when uh, we compare deep learning model, ML model will get quick performance accuracy on small data sets. Uh, we will get uh, best accuracy in uh, deep learning too, uh, but it, it is most preferred for uh, large data sets, it handles large data sets. This is the reference uh, links what we have used in our background study. Uh, all these uh, PPTs and uh, collab file as uploaded uh, in uh, GitHub and the link is shared. Thank you. Thank you.